Hey folks, I'm in the Ironwood Forest National Monument. Stay tuned. Hey folks, this is Mark Dispersed Camper Man, and I am currently dispersed camped in the Ironwood Forest National Monument. It's uh, located in the southern part of Arizona uh, between uh, Phoenix and uh, Tucson. So this road right here that I'm camped on is West Civil Bell Road. It does have a, a single lane bridge with a, a three ton weight limit. So if your vehicle weighs more than 6,000 pounds, you may come from a different direction. So that single lane bridge with a three ton a weight the limit is on this uh, West Civil Bell Road right here. I'm gonna leave the grid coordinates to that uh, bridge right there, just punching the Google Maps. And uh, if you weigh over six or 6,000 pounds or three tons, just go ahead and avoid that bridge. You need to take another route into here. Yeah, folks, I found this spot on the Ironwood uh, Forest National Monument. This is a uh, part of the uh, Bureau of Land Management public lands that you can disperse camp on. And of course, on uh, being camped out on Bureau of Land Management public land, uh, you can stay 14 days here. I've got all kinds of uh, swirl cactuses around me. These things are huge. Right over here, I got a dead one. You can see the uh, skeletal remains of it. Looks like the body part fell off on the ground. Wood. That's pretty neat how they're made. Yeah, folks, what I've been doing around here is uh, jumping my motorcycle and exploring the area. That's what I like doing when I first get to a camping spot like this and a place that I've never been to. I'll download my motorcycle and explore the area. And when I'm out there exploring a desert like that, I do keep an eye out on for a crested swirl cactus, if you're familiar with those. It's uh, crested at the top of the, uh, at the very top of the uh, Saguaro cactus. Uh, they're pretty rare, unique, and scientists don't really know uh, why it does that. Some type of genetic makeup. They also think it might be from uh, frost <clears throat> at an earlier stage and uh, when I was growing, frost got to it, but I'm not for sure how it happens. <clears throat> I'm driving the road. I looked over and I saw one. I thought it was pretty neat. Of course, I jumped off my uh, motorcycle and uh, grabbed my camera and uh, threw my drone up in the air and uh, caught these uh, images of it. I think it's pretty cool looking. Yeah, I do like sitting in my dinette and being able to look out the window, checking out what's going on outside, especially this beautiful area right here. Look at those mountains right there. Yeah, right there's the uh, Wocock Peak and right there's the uh, Ragged top peak. I did try going up there uh, to try to climb that ragged top one right there. When I got up there there's a sign that said uh, don't be up on a mountain between January and April time frame I believe because of the uh, lambing of the sheep up there. So I turned around and came back. Well folks this is my camping spot. This is a pretty cool little camping spot I got right here. But what I'm going to be doing next is since I cannot climb the ragged top mountain yeah, so I can't climb Rabbit Top Mountain right there because of the uh, lambing going on over there. There's another little hill right here, like right across the road. I'm going to jump up on that, or I'm going to go over there and hike to that little hill right there and get you guys a uh, 
surrounding view of the area. We are almost there, folks. I am headed right up there. Look at a nice little ledge up there. Should be a good view from up there. I believe uh, Bill Clinton is the one that uh, made this a national monument because of the uh, ironwood trees. So there's an ironwood tree right here. You can tell they do got thorns for sure. You don't want to brush up against them. It's pretty cool looking. I'm gonna follow the ridge line up, make it up there. But while I'm on the side of this hill, I noticed something, something right there. I'm gonna take a look at it. Uh, I think it's a balloon or something. You pack it in, you pack it out. In this case, in this case, you fly it in, you pack it out. I almost made it to the top. Right there. What a view. There's that uh, ragged top mountain. I was wanting to climb, but I can't because of the rams lambing. Look at all those swirls, cactus over there. There's a lot of them. I don't know if you can see, but see, yeah, but there's where I'm camped at. My nearest neighbor is right there and then on the other side i don't know if you'll be able to see them or not yeah there's my other neighbor on the other side of me plenty of places to camp and then of course there's a west silver bell road the road i came in on and i don't know if you can tell or not but over here there's snow on that mountain over there <clears throat> When I first came in here, uh, I hurry up and got a campground like I told you, and then uh, it was about to rain, and it did rain, <clears throat> and it started uh, helling too, right here on the side of my truck camper. When I came in, there was no snow on that mountain. And then of course the uh, rain stopped and the hell stopped, <clears throat> and the next day I came out, looked up on that mountain, there was snow on it. That's pretty cool. So I'm kind of glad we didn't get no snow though. Here's the other side of the mountain. It's facing uh, a mountain range right there. There's all kinds of hiking and riding out through here. I've been out here for several days and I'm still exploring the area. Well, 
folks i'll be heading out of here tomorrow hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, like i said uh this is the ironwood national forest monument a great place to do some uh, dispersed camping or boondocking wherever you like excellent area uh, just remember like for myself from the beginning if you weigh over six thousand pounds or three tons don't take that road that has that one lane bridge on it because uh the max load on that is six thousand pounds you have to route you around further south to get it to come up in here yeah i guess the uh the highlight of this uh camping trip right here would be the uh, crested soria cactus i saw that thing was uh, pretty neat <clears throat> like i said earlier I've been uh, keeping an eye out for one of them and throughout all my travels here, I've never seen one and I just happened to look over and saw it there. It's pretty cool looking. I'm gonna leave the uh, grid coordinate to that uh, cactus if you guys wanna go out there and take a look at it also. And also I'm gonna leave a, uh, the grid coordinates to uh, my camping spot here if you wanna come in here. And definitely folks, if you guys like this type of videos, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and uh, leave a comment in the uh, comment section. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Now, time to uh, climb down out this mountain and get back to camp. <laughs>